imagine this. You get out there for a round of golf. You bogey, birdie, mulligan, drive, heckle your buddy's putt, and then crack a cold one. And you raise millions of dollars to help people learn to read. Sounds like fiction? Well, it's not. Canadians like you, by taking to the links from St. John's to Victoria to Pond Inlet, have raised over $12 million to help thousands of Canadians towards a better life through reading and literacy skills. And it's all because of this man. Canadian broadcasting legend, Peter Zosky. Good morning, I'm Peter Zosky. This is Morningside. On television and particularly on radio, including 15 years hosting CBC's Morningside, he conducted an astonishing 27,000 interviews. He is the author of over a dozen books. He introduced Canadians to artists, musicians, thinkers, and to each other. I think the magic of Peter Zosky is that he is probably the most curious, genuinely curious person I ever met. Peter was the best cultural cheerleader you could ever find. I think he had his pom-poms under his desk all the time. He was filled with the most profound love of this country. I think one of the most wonderful things about Peter was his tone of voice. He always spoke with such a genuine authority and thoughtfulness. Great filmmaker and raconteur Norman Jewison. Peter Zosky loved many things, but few more than this country, books, music, and golf. He brought them all together with the Peter Zosky Invitational Golf Tournaments for Literacy. His passion for the cause came from his meetings with people who were learning to read and write. People learning to read and write are extraordinarily passionate, and they're determined to do it. So I think that was what caused his, his commitment to grow. Pick a topic you want to look at. The first PGI was held in 1986 at the Briars Golf Course near his cottage in Jackson Point, Ontario. It was so successful, Peter realized that they could be held in other places too. We were getting, starting to get phone calls from across the country. The first call in was Gordon Campbell, now the Premier of British Columbia. He was the Mayor of Vancouver then, phoned and said, Peter, you know that tournament you do for literacy? Could you bring it to British Columbia? Second phone call, then brand new Premier of New Brunswick, Frank McKenna. Can you bring that little thing you do to New Brunswick? And it was just an explosion. There is now at least one held in every province and every territory, every year since. The PGI is no ordinary round of golf. Peter never lost sight of what this day in the greens was all about. Reading, writing, friends, and lots of laughs. Every tournament has music and celebrates the written word with the help of a poet laureate. I hate the city, it brings me down. I'm a country boy. I'm Although all PGIs share a common goal, each tournament is distinctive and special. The ones that are done near Brunswick, it's French and it's English and we have Acadian artists uh, working alongside English artists and, and it's just this magical, uh, this magical element that uh, is quintessentially New Brunswick. The first PGI I did was uh, on the frozen Hudson Bay. It was 27 below zero. They'd carved a nine hole golf course onto this frozen lake. The hazards were husky dogs running out and stealing your ball. The wind would carry it for another 400 feet and then some dog would run after it and pick the ball up and, and disappear over a, a snow drift. Good shot. Bad shot. I hit the worst. <laughs> you know what he was really doing, Peter? He thought by playing golf in the north, where the elements kind of even out the playing field, nobody would be able to pay attention to his well-documented slice. Because in the north, Nobody can golf. At Jackson's Point, Ontario, the site of Peter Zosky's summertime home, the little something extra got so big it became an event on its own. It's been one week since you looked at me. Cut your head with the sign that I'm angry. Five days to For 12 years, some of this country's most beloved performers, including yours truly, took the stage at the Redburn Theater the night before the PGI, raising money and putting on a heck of a show. My favorite part of the whole Red Barn show was at the very end, 
everybody would get out on the stage and we would all sing O Canada and really fucking mean it. being a part of everything. Thank you. Everyone up here and out there, and we'll see you on the golf course. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Sadly, we lost Peter Zosky far too early in 2002. He left some big shoes to fill, and many people have stepped up to the tee. Perhaps few more so than Sheila Rogers. She joins us now. Sheila. You know, this might seem a little crazy to say, but if this had just been about Peter, Peter would have been really upset. Because what it's really about is building a better country, community by community. We've had amazing support from our sponsors, couldn't have done it without the sponsors. But the moment we're all aiming for is hearing from the learner, because the learner is the legacy. I was working at dead-end jobs. I actually had gotten fired from a job and I guess I was feeling depressed and uh, just looking for a way out. I wanted to own my own business and be uh, successful. And I wasn't going to do that not having my GD and uh, not, not, not having focus. Um, so that's exactly why I, uh, I entered into the GD program. It's more than important. It's, uh, I believe education is the foundation of any kind of success. It's hard to believe that today, in a country like Canada, literacy is still an issue. But four out of ten adult Canadians, that's over nine million of us, struggle with low literacy. It's a struggle that impacts us all. Well, I think literacy matters so much because it's the foundation of everything else. And in Canada, unfortunately, uh, for a country that is so progressive on so many fronts, we come up short on this one. And now for more on this, the national chair of the PGI, Peter Mansbridge. Peter? Thanks, Rick. You know, literacy is a complex issue, and in my association with the PGIs, I've come to understand some of the many reasons why a person has low literacy skills, like learning challenges that undermine self-confidence, difficult childhood circumstances, or perhaps economic pressures that short-circuited educational opportunities. The adult learners I've met share the ambition to improve their lives, and they all express so much gratitude to their tutors for imparting the gift of literacy. By participating in a PGI, you help hugely in delivering that gift. Rick. 2010 marks 25 years of Peter Zosky Invitational Golf Tournaments for Literacy, and we have every reason to celebrate. With the generous support of sponsors across Canada and because of people like you, PGIs have raised over $12 million for literacy. We're showing no signs of slowing down. Peter Zosky said right from the start that he knew he was onto something. With each PGI, we commemorate Peter Zosky's vision of friends, laughter, poetry, music, and the game of golf. With each and every PGI tournament and your involvement, Peter Zosky's legacy lives on. I'm Rick Mercer. We'll see you on the links.